Flattening time. Let's make a bottle jack press. <laughs> Since our last HDPE video, we've had loads of different ideas for other HDPE projects. The only thing is, at the moment, we're currently limited to smaller products, and that's because we don't have a quick and easy way of applying consistent pressure across a larger surface area. So we bought this two-ton bottle jack secondhand, and we figured this could be a really easy way to give us the pressure that we need, provided we could build a frame for it to sit in. We also saw a really good video by Christiana over at Get Hands Dirty, where she used a bottle jack to create a paper embossing press. If you want to see that video, we'll pop a link in the description. So we need to make sure that the frame that we build is super sturdy as it needs to resist two tons of pressure. So we picked up a load of square and rectangular steel tubing, and then we don't have a welder, so we're just going to be bolting the whole thing together. So because we're using hollow tube and not solid bar, there is a chance that the ends of the tube could get squashed when we bolt it all together. To prevent that from happening, we're filling the ends with wood and epoxying them in place. So we've got the frame all clamped together, and we've checked that it's square, and the next thing we need to do now is drill two 12mm holes in each corner for some M12 threaded rod and lock it all together. So we've got that frame sprayed up in black now because it's going to be a lot harder to access later on when the whole thing's assembled. So the next thing for us to do is to work on that plywood base. So first we've got to rip down some plywood to the same height as that beam there. To make sure this base is super sturdy, we're doubling up the front and the back and then screwing it all together. We're also utilising those wooden filler pieces in that bottom tube just to make sure that the frame and the base is all locked together. To finish the base off, we're adding two layers of 18mm ply and we're using the bandsaw to cut notches out so that it fits nice and snugly around the frame.
also making a top pressing plate out of two layers of 18mm plywood and we're clamping everything together just to make sure they stay nice and aligned. So we don't want to permanently fix this bottle jack in place just in case we ever want to swap it out. So we're making a little plywood collar and that will just ensure that it stays centered when we're pressing. Before screwing this into place, we're using CA glue and activator from Starbond. <laughs> from Starbond. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Starbond. Starbond. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> from Starbond. And they've been kind enough to offer 10% off for Brothers Make viewers. So if you're interested in picking some up, check out the link in the description below. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> So bottle jacks usually use gravity to help return them back to normal. But because ours is mounted in the opposite way, we need to use some big springs to help lift that press back up when it's finished. So these are actually trampoline springs and they're really, really tough. So to make sure they stay in place, we're gonna use threaded eye bolts bolted to that pressing plate. We obviously don't want anything impacting that pressing surface. So to make sure it sets nice and flush, we're recessing the bolts to the underside of the plate. Because we're marking and drilling through the top of the plate, the point in the middle of the Forster bit has got nothing to bite into. So we've made a little plywood jig and we clamp this in place for each of the holes and that keeps everything nice and centered. So as you can see, a few things have changed. We've added a pop of color with some spray paint. We also went back and added a six mil steel plate attached to the top bar, just to make sure that it doesn't crush against the weight of the jack. So we've taken it for a test bin and used it to make an HDP blank. So it works really well, and as you can see when we cut it in half, there's absolutely no air bubbles, which is exactly what you're looking for when you're casting a blank. We've also been getting into bookbinding recently, and we figured this could work nicely as a bookbinding press, albeit a very heavy duty one. So as you may have noticed, we've got some brand new Brothers Make merch. So if you're interested in picking up some for yourself, check out the banner below, and we'll also whack a link in the description. So we're also going to be at Maker Central this year at the beginning of May. Let us know if you're going to be there, it'd be great to hang out. Also come grab a sticker from us. As always, thank you so much for watching the video, and if you want to support us even more, consider checking us out on Patreon. All of our patrons get early access to our videos, exclusive content, and some other perks, including our everlasting and undying love. Stay tuned for our next video where we're going to be using this press on a bigger HDPE project. See you next time. Good morning, Instagram. How are we doing? Is it still morning? No. Good afternoon, Instagram. How are we doing? What's going on? <laughs> we have just about almost finished our bottle.